The man who's known as Mr. Country, keep the country country, Gil Riviere. Gil? Good evening. Thanks everybody for coming tonight. It's, um, it's great to be up here. It's great to be in this caucus. It's um, We've got eight really good people in this caucus. We need more, and we will get more in a couple of years. Uh, I think the kindling is there to, to start something here. Uh, I am from uh, Wailua. I live in Wailua for 20 years, 25 years or so, and uh, it's a very, very big part of my life is uh, the rural nature of our community. Elevators and parking lots are kind of scary to me, but uh, I've chosen this job, so I'll be coming downtown and, and being here. We've got a lot of uh, issues that overlap. The econo economy is hurting people on the North Shore. Um, we have an agricultural district that could be the breadbasket for this state and I endeavor to uh, work very diligently to help that happen. Um, we could go on all night, but uh, to brief, keep it brief, I'm honored to be here, I'm honored to be in this caucus, and uh, thank you very much. My name is Gil Rubio. Now, not a stranger to anybody at the Capitol, but to some of you who don't know that he started at the White House as a presidential appointee, and he's a state debate champion. Welcome, Aaron Johansson. So with that said, I'm really looking forward to those rousing floor debates that the eight of us are going to have on your behalf. I'm Aaron Link Johansson, and just so privileged to be here with all of you and among friends and mentors and people who have just uh, carried the torch uh, for all of us at the Capitol, uh, including the governor and the lieutenant governor and our six esteemed colleagues uh, who just have so faithfully served. Uh, but it's an honor to be a part of that tradition. I grew up in the Moanalo Gardens area. I'm a product of all of the Moanalo public schools, a proud product. Uh, I can say that I lead Moanalo Blue. And, uh, and it's with that recognition of just what the school gave back to me, what my teachers gave back to me, and really how the community operates, uh, I think is a very healthy model uh, for government. But it's not all really just about government. Government can't be, or shouldn't be, everything to everybody. Uh, and that's particularly something that was inculcated to me from a very young age. You know, community and individuals uh, can often do it best. And just so looking forward to bringing some of that common sense uh, pragmatism uh, to the Capitol uh, to support our colleagues. Uh, one thing that I've had the privilege of also doing that often doesn't get said is having served as the party's political director. Uh, so, but I will tell you, it is one thing to go from advising people and helping and assisting them to actually doing it and being in the trenches yourself. And so, you know, it was an amazing experience, and I thank so many of you uh, for helping me transcend from helper uh, to candidate uh, to elected official. So thank you so much, and look forward to serving. Aloha. 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 I wanted to tell you that under the Iona and Lingle administration, we made more progress toward making Hawaii energy independent than has occurred under any Democrat administration in this state. Yes. It's a huge it's a huge loss that we won't be able to continue with the Iona administration and continue that work. We will try in the legislature to continue to prepare. So I call upon all of you to please be vigilant. Uh, write to the, the legislature, your legislature, the chairs of the committees, letters to the editor, um, emails, blogs, whatever, uh, Facebook, whatever you can to help us lobby against uh, uh, excessive spending. And um, we've got to do a lot of serious cutting. It's going to hurt. But that's what I foresee in the next session. We need your help. Thank you. But as Barbara said, we need you to follow up. Because we're going to carry, these eight are going to carry on the eight years of tradition from the fifth floor down to the house floor. Will you help us? Will you be with us? Can you join us? And we've talked about this uh, for the last, I don't know how many years, we've talked about a true two-party system here in the state of Hawaii. And, you know, I believe that if you, if you believe it, you'll see it, as opposed to seeing it and then you believe it. So I really believe that there will be a two-party system here in Hawaii. 
and I want you to know that I'm here to, uh, to work in whatever capacity I can to make that happen. Uh, whether it be as a, as a candidate again in 2014 or uh, just helping somebody out or doing what I need to do, I am more committed now than ever to make sure that we have a two-party system here in Hawaii. So I hope you can all join me you know, in that respect. You know, we may, we may, it, it, it may seem like we, uh, we did well on this past election night, but we did. We got, uh, we got two brand new representatives. We held one seat with a new, uh, uh, with a new candidate. We held our other seats very strongly, and I think that says a lot for the Republican Party. For the very first time in a long time, we filled almost every seat uh, that was uh, up for election, and that's a tribute to our chair and our executive director. Uh, so how about a big round of applause for Jonah and Dylan, who did such a great job, and, and the entire Republican Party staff. They, uh, tremendous job. So I'm committed to at least leaving it open until 2012 to see what happens after the 2012 election. Because the 2012 election is a big election. We say this every year, right? But more so in 2012, why? Because we have redistricting in these next, next uh, few months. So we're gonna redistrict the districts and everyone's gonna be up for election in the state races. In other words, for the Senate and for the House of Representatives. So every seat will be up for election. On top of that, we have a presidential election. We also have a mayor's race coming on again. And so we have a lot of activity coming on and I believe that we will see, hopefully, this is one theory out there, right? And this theory is that Hawaii is always behind of the mainland. And as you well know, it was a sweep in the mainland in regards to the Republican Party. It was a sweep, except for three states, Hawaii, California, and New York. But every other state, the Republicans swept. So we're hoping that we're gonna, we're just a little, you know, the tidal wave, the wave takes a while to go from the West Coast to Hawaii. So we're hoping that it'll take two years, and in 2012, we'll catch that wave, and we'll ride that wave all the way to 2014. So my friends, I wanna thank you again for everything. Thank you for all of your support. God bless you all. Merry Christmas. And so